welcome to vlog number three. Sounds like a country. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Matthew Johnson's Any Card at Any Number. I'm also going to be checking out something called Lunch is Served, which is actually a great book. I know it's a great book, actually. Um, well, I wrote it with my friend TC Tahoe, but it's a great collection. We're going to be checking that out as well. Uh, just to note, I had these come in the other day. I'm getting all prepared for this upcoming Canadian convention in Vancouver from the 28th of July to the 31st of July, I think, or the the 30th, whatever, uh, but it's uh, my, I've got some books and just come in entertaining on the cruise ship. If you've ever wanted to work on cruise ships, uh, you can check that out. And also, Mental Epic Compendium, if I can bring it up here, it's it's, a, it's a several hundred pages of, of Mental Epic magic and mentalism. It's a great book. It's got over, I think, something like 40 contributors, 60 different effects or something with Mental Epic. So it's an incredible book. Very proud of those. But today we're going to be taking a look at uh, this beauty. Uh, lunch is served. Also, I have a DVD out called Lunch Date, which has seven, I think it's seven of my favorite effects. In fact, let's check out the video right now of Lunch Date. <laughs> So those come from the DVD, but all those effects are on the DVD as well as on the book. The book actually contains close to, I think it's 60 routines, different routines by a lot of different performers, including Banachek, Gerard, um, obviously myself, Wayne Rogers, Carl Andrews, Christopher Taylor, it goes on and on and on. Brad Manuel from Australia. So it's uh, uh, this is the out to lunch principle, basically on steroids if you like. Everything you can imagine with Out to Lunch. I even do, as you saw in the, in the promo there, I do a routine using the Out to Lunch principle with a build to uh, lemon or build to wherever sort of effect. So that's all in the book and it's on the DVD. But uh, my eight ball effect here where you, you draw an eight ball on the business card, back of your business card, and you flick it and, the eight, and they sign it. The eight ball pops off the card and actually lands in their hand. That's a really cool trick. That's in here as well. And not only that, but this, when you get the book, at the back is a link to graphics. So all the graphics you need for this effect is... A, I don't know, 80 graphics or whatever, they're in the book. Uh, there's a link to a website where you can download the graphics. So if you're doing your own business cards, you can easily produce your own business cards with the graphics on it. So this is a, a great book. Again, it's available from Hocus Pocus. And uh, this one is called Lunch is Served. It's, uh, it's, if you've ever thought of doing the out to lunch principle or, or, or effect, then check out this book, Perfect Close-Up Routine. But right now, I'd like to uh, call your attention to my guest this week, if you like. We sat down for coffee, Matthew Johnson. Matthew's a great performer. He just got back from the Europe and the UK, where he toured with his lecture with Christopher Taylor and sold out of everything. And two effects of, uh, I mean, everything Matthew does is great, but my favorite is any card at any number. Uh, let's check out Matthew performing it. Matthew was kind enough to sit down, and this is the first time I've seen Matthew perform it and blew me away. And then he's going to share with us at the end of the DVD, end of this uh, video rather, blog, he'll share with us a cool little trick. So let's check out Matthew's Any Card at Any Number. Okay, I'm filming. Are you filming now? How about now? Now? Yeah. Filming now? All right, so we'll do this for you, Paul. Um, actually, for you guys at home, but for Paul too. I want you to imagine, Paul, that you're in a, a room. There are no windows, no doors. You don't know how you got in and you don't know how you're going to get out, but it doesn't matter because in the middle of the room there's a table and it's made of glass. The top, the legs, the hinges, the brackets, every, every single fiber of this table that holds this table together is made of glass. And sitting on the table, you notice there's a deck of cards on the table, but the, the seal's broken. And you're not sure why. Now you're curious. By nature, you're a curious person. So you walk over to the deck of cards you take a look around to make sure nobody's looking and you open the cards and you spread them across the table. Now the first thing you notice is that there are no jokers, which is probably why the seal's been broken. So you also notice, the second thing you notice is the cards are in new deck order. Clubs, hearts, spades, 
and diamonds. Brand new deck order, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. Now I'm curious, if you were to choose one of the suits, Paul, which one would you choose? Clubs, hearts, spades, or diamonds? I'm curious. Which spades. One, which, which one would you choose? Which one? Spades. You, you choose spades? Yep. I'm, I'm curious, why, what made you choose spades? It just popped into my head. Okay, but, but you could have said, um, you could have said diamonds, you could have said uh, clubs, but you chose spades? Yep. I don't know if this is going to work. It might not, but we'll give it a we'll give it a try. It'll be my first time on on video blog. This doesn't work. You watch. All right. So now imagine that this is the picture you saw in your mind of a deck of cards on the table, and uh, I asked you to choose one of the suits, and you said spades, right? Yep. Now, by nature, I'm a curious person. I'm curious. So I'm curious. If you were to choose one of the spades, ace through king, which one would you choose? I'm curious. The six. Six. Yep. Uh, okay, in Spanish, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Uh, okay, so six. Mm -hmm. Six of spades. Yep. Free choice, right? Yep. Now I'm really curious. <laughs> if you were to choose a number from one to 52, mm -hmm. what would you choose? Uh, 13. 13. Yep. Is that a free choice? Free choice. You sure? Yep. Positive. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm going to do this at finger kit. I'm going to do this at fingertips so you can see I'm not cheating. Okay, I'm going to take the cards out at fingertips. Like this. Out of the box. Let's stick in a little bit there. Just all the way out at fingertips. Right? Now you could have said diamonds, you could have said clubs, but you said what? Spades. Six of spades, yep, was it? Six of spades, yeah. And you said what number? Thirteen. Thirteen. I'm gonna deal down thirteen cards face down so it's a surprise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The thirteenth card. Is that the thirteenth card right there? Yep. Ay 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 ay. If I was close, that'd be pretty good, right? Yeah, okay, yep. You said 13 and what card? Six of spades. Is that close enough for you? Any card? Uh, any number? No other. way. That's awesome. Thank you. Wow. JJ Beans Coffee House, Commercial Drive, Vancouver. <laughs>Well, so there it is. It was really cool. I mean, it was just so clean. I love this. Uh, you can, again, get this from Hocus Pocus. Any, Matthew Johnson's any card at any number. And I know that Matthew sold out of these in Europe when he was on his lecture tour, and it was pretty much the highlight of his, or, or the talking point of his tour. It's really clean. You know, what I like about this any card at any number is that it, it's instantly reset. So when you finish it, you put it back in the case, uh, you move on if you're doing walk-around magic or close-up magic, and you go on to the next table or, or group of people. So it's perfect for that situation as well. You don't have to sit there and stack decks and all sorts of things. So it's a really great, uh, really great effect, actually. It's very straightforward, very clean. Uh, it's very commercial. And it's very easy to do as well. And I guarantee you that uh, that you'll perform this. It's just an incredible effect. And Matthew has done a great job. A lot of thinking behind it. Very commercial. So very highly recommended. Matthew Johnson's Any Card at Any Number. That's a nice look. How's your hot chocolate? It's good, man. I think it's too hot, though. Is it? Yeah, yeah. And they got the cream in here, but... Uh i got to mix this cream in with the hot chocolate, I think it's a little hot. Um, where are we now? This is your favourite coffee shop? This is JJ Beans in yep. Commercial Drive, Vancouver, right? Just going to my spoon. You see the spoon there? Which I'm showing you for a long time for dramatic effect. Spoon. I'm going to just stir my hot chocolate here. I'm going to be honest with you though, the, the hot chocolate in this place is a little hot, man. Okay, could I get another hot chocolate? I, I think my hot chocolate's way too hot. It is.